You. I was watching Aston over the weekend and they had fantastic performance against Aston Villa and I was like, yeah, 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 okay. Well, this is the thing about Arsenal. They'll always, you know, make you feel good about being their fan. I'm not their fan. I'm just, I'm just putting myself in the in their fans' shoes. For example, Brian Selly, all right? Throughout the season, they're going to put up an exceptional performance in terms of the game. And then towards the end, Manchester City just wins the league. But now, here's the thing. There are people who cannot put up with that at all. And I'll take you all the way to the United Kingdom. And I'm very sure so many people relate to this. Just even the Kulienda, okay? Um, the Parliament website has rejected quite a number of, um, you know, petitions that have been brought um, forth by people who live in the United Kingdom. Among those things, among those petitions that have been rejected already, first we have a very weird one. I don't know why anybody would propose this to get everybody in the country, in the United Kingdom, to jump at the same time just to see what happens. Somebody sat down and thought, this is a good thing to do. So you're going to have everybody, once it's, uh, you know, it's passed, of course, you know the process of these bills. Everybody's going to jump at the same time on a particular day, in a particular minute, to just see how things work out. But that's not going to happen because it's been rejected. Now, here's the key interest I took in this rejected bills. Somebody said, get rid of Arsenal FC as a football team. It was rejected, but you can imagine the pain. I don't know who exactly did this. It could be an Arsenal fan who's tired because they have not won in the Premier League since 2003, 2004. That was the last time, 20 years old. You've got to be kidding me. Yanni, we have not seen a tweep, you know, um, make fun of all the other leagues. They belong to Arsenal. Uh, make fun of all the other leagues because they've won the Premier League. That must feel so bad because, you know, Twitter was invented in 2006. Either it could be a Man City fan because this is an immediate competitor or it could be a Manchester United fan, a.k.a. Gaza King, because this is, this, this is the biggest hater. This guy is the biggest hater. Manchester United fan is the biggest hater of Arsenal. Who do you think could have done that? Who do you think wants Arsenal FC to be, you know, um, somebody to get rid of it, the parliamentarians in the United Kingdom to get rid of Arsenal? Just who do you think come through? Is it an Arsenal fan? Is it a Man City fan? Or is it a Manchester United fan?